So now we've got to start working towards doing Desert Treasure. And the first quest I'm going to get the requirements for is going to be the dig site. So first I need 10 agility. So we're just chilling here at the gnome, uh, gnome course. We're going to get stay here until we get to 10 agility. And then after that, I've got to work on my thieving, which I might just go straight for 53. I'm not sure. But I'm going to have to complete the feud quest because then I can blackjack for faster XP. So got quite a bit of work to be done. Hopefully we can get Desert Treasure done within not a stupid and long amount of time. All right, so I am now 10 agility. So all I need for the dig site is 25 thieving. But I'm going to go ahead and train a little bit of range up because I just want to get my range up to 40. So I can get some better, so I can wear the better gear for training because all of the best pure stuff is at level 40 range like the ranger boots robin hat ranger tunic all that stuff it's all the good stuff so i need to get there and there we go just got the 40 range we are now 28 combat and 40 range means i can now wear all the good fucking awesome pure uh pure gear pure, pure gear that's kind of hard to say a little tongue twister but look what we got we've got Robin Hood hat, Ranger boots, and the Ranger's tunic. So we're out here balling hard. Got all the best pure stuff. But I need my green beehive van braces. Or not van braces, but... Well, actually, I want to see what's more. If the regen bracelet or... Let's see. So plus 68 range, plus 69 range. So I'm going to sell these regen bracelets. I don't need it. There we go, there's 25 thieving completed, which means we should have all the requirements for the dig site. Yes, we do. So now it is time to go start that quest. There we go, there's the dig site quest done for the 15k mining XP. Gets us to 31 mining, which is amazing, and 17 herb lore. And the waterfall quest complete, which gets us nearly 14k in strength and attack XP. Which gets us to 30 strength as well as 30 attack. Death Plateau quest done for 3k attack XP. And that gets us to 32 attack. There is 15 agility which is the requirement for troll stronghold. I believe that's the only requirement. Let me check real quick. So yeah, level 15 agility and level 30 thieving might be useful. I can't remember what that's for. Hopefully it's not needed, but we'll find out. And there we go. There's the Troll Stronghold quest complete. So that's another one ticked off of the Desert Treasure list. I believe I've only got two more quests to do. Which, let me make sure. It's Temple of Icob and Taurus Trap. But I also still need to get the 53 Magic. Or the 53, 53 Thieving. That's a fucking tongue twister. And 50 Magic. But let's check what we need for Temple of Ikov. Let's see here. So I need 42 thieving and 40 range. So I'm not going to do that yet. If I have the requirements to do Taurus Trap, I'll probably go ahead and do that. So 10 fletching, 20 smithing. So that's significantly easier to get than getting the uh, 42 thieving. So we're going to do that. I'm probably going to end up doing the Knight Sword quest. Just so I can get that 20 smithing real quick. And then 10 fletching will be very easy. And there's the Knight Sword quest complete. For the juicy 12k smithing XP. Nearly 13k smithing XP. Gets us to 29 smithing. Which is well over the requirement for the Taurus Trap. And there we go. There is level 10 fletching. Which should be the only requirements needed for the Taurus Trap. So there's the Taurus so there's the Taurus trap complete. I decided to use my XP on thieving because I really didn't feel like getting it up to 30 the old-fashioned way. And it ended up getting it to 32. And with the feud quest, if I complete it, I'll be able to get up to I believe 37 at least. There we go. There's the feud quest complete for the 15k thieving XP. Which should get me some really decent levels all the way up to 38. Fuck yeah. So now I just need four levels to get to 42 for the Temple of Ikov. But the best part is, is I got this raw chicken. But I guess Ali more saying, every time you talk to him, he always sells you some shit. And he gave me the chicken. But anyways, uh, I got to get a maple blackjack. And I can start blackjacking. And that's like the best XP in the game. 
Actually, I have to get to 45 in order to do... Or there's something I can do at like 37 or something. I, I'll have to relook up the guide, but once I get to 45, you get the... Start getting the really, really good uh, thieving XP. So I went to the thieving guide, and it says the uh, best way to get from 37 to 45 is to do pyramid plunder. And I went to go buy a Ferris Scepter, and they're fucking 7 mil. Like, why? Why are they 7 mil? I really don't want to spend this much, but I mean, I'm going to sell it back anyways, but holy shit. Back in my day, they used to be like fucking like... 2 mil, I think when I went for 99 thieving on my main account, they was like, well, I guess, granted, it was in, like, the first week, so they were, like, a mil, but 7 fucking mil for a Pharaoh Scepter. That's insane. So I figured since I'm going to be doing some skilling for a little bit, I got to get my fashion scape on, and, uh, I was watching some videos today, and my boy Soup was telling me, or was telling people about how you can get a, uh, free skill cape for doing nothing, and so, uh, you trade Django, you can get this little cabbage cape a little looks like a skill cape so yeah look at that from the front i have a fucking skill cape and then you do the emote which i can't do for whatever reason oh yes i can okay cool so hell yeah i uh, got my first skill cape on my uh my peer account very very cool took me a second so since i was uh searching up about the uh pharaoh scepter oh you can actually just left click now that's cool i might as well fucking search all these traps the grand chest in the middle because they give you the best chance of getting a pharaoh scepter if i get one of those and get a fucking little seven mil boost you gotta be pretty fucking sweet there we go 41 thieving which means i can now access the third room of pyramid plunder which makes for extremely faster xp like every time you gain like the multiple or whatever of 10 plus one you can get another room, and it just increases your experience per hour, like, significantly. By the time you get to, like, 91, you're getting probably getting, like, 210k XP an hour. I think it's, like, uh, like 81, you get 180k XP, and then 91, you get 210k XP. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've done Pyramid Plunder. But I know every time your level goes up, it just your XP rates just significantly get better. See, watch when I thieve this one. Hold on, right there, 150 XP per urn. In the last room, I was only getting 90 per urn, and then in floor one, you get 60 per urn. So, like every time you access another room, your XP rates just gets just exponentially better. Like, it's unbelievable. There we go. There's 42 Thieving, which is the requirement for Temple of Ikov. So, I now officially have all the requirements for Temple of Ikov. And I should have looted the chest to see if I got a Scepter, but I doubt I would have. But, on that note, time to do the Temple of Ikov. And there's Temple of Ikov complete for 10k range XP, which is very nice, and 8k fletching XP. I was hoping I'd get some thieving XP since this has a 42 thieving requirement, but I couldn't remember if it did or not, but it apparently it doesn't. So 42 or 42 range and 26 fletching. Now all I need is the 53 thieving and I should have everything for desert treasure. Let me double check one more time real quick. And 50 magic. So I also need to get 50 magic, which isn't hard at all.